Hi guys and welcome back and today we will be talking about the MSI Steel Series keyboard app. This app lets you customize the Steel Series keyboard that is available on your MSI gaming laptops. When you open the app, the first thing that you see is the keyboard that is available on your laptop, be it a quirky RGB keyboard or a single backlit keyboard. And we also get to see some pre-customized configurations like disco mode, freeway etc. Double click on the keyboard and it will take you to your keyboard layout with keyboard region on your right. On some laptops there is a dedicated steel series toggle button on your keyboard. You can turn it on or off from here. On the left there is a toolbox that lets you customize the key bindings for all the keys. Let's go all out. Let's see all key bindings. This expands the toolbox into showing all the keys that are available on your keyboard. Notice how moving your cursor on every key highlights the key on the keyboard as well. And it also works on the way around. Now let's try customizing a single key from the keyboard. Let's try doing it with the forward slash. Now I want to change the forward slash key with some other key. I just have to double tap on the key and select the new key which I want to assign to it. For example A. When I'm done, I'll just select done and the new key is assigned to it. You can also see the changes reflected on the toolbox on the left. If by any chance you have assigned a wrong key, you can just revert all the changes that you have done. Now let's try doing something realistic. We'll assign WASD to the arrow keys. It is as simple as clicking and just selecting the key that you want. Once done, you can just save the changes or revert if the changes are not desired. Now let's start with the fun part and the reason we love this Steel Series keyboard so much. The illumination. On the left you can see a new toolbox. Using the pointer you can select individual keys to customize. Using the dotted box you can select each zone. And using the magic wand you can select the zones which share the same customization. Now I want to clear all and any existing effects from all keys. I'll just simply click and hold my mouse and move my cursor over all the keys to select them. And from the effects, I'll select Disable Illumination. Now that we have a blank canvas to play with, let's make something sensible out of it. With Doom just released, let's make a keyboard layout for an FPS game. Starting with W, A, S and D, we'll give them an effect of steady with a desired color out of the multiple color choices that we have, thanks to the RGB keyboard. Once done, just click on OK and we are good to go. Viewing your customization on screen is one thing, but viewing your customization on your laptop is a completely different thing. Thanks to the live preview mode, we can see all the effects that we have recently applied live on the laptop as soon as they have applied. Now if I want to select two keys simultaneously and I cannot click and drag because there is a key in the center. All I have to do is select the first key, hold down control and select rest of all the keys that I want to customize along with it. Once the selection is done, let's add on some effect. And this time, I'm gonna go with color shift mode. Now color shift will let me add multiple colors of my choice to one button. I've set the color change speed to 2 seconds by default. You can change it as per your liking. Now let's customize the special movement keys, the shift, the C and the spacebar key for fast running, crouch and jumping. With the desired keys selected, let's select the effect, this time multicolor breathe. Multicolor breathe allows you to add multiple colors with a dead zone in between. So when the color changes, it adds a breathing effect. In this mode for change in color, there will be a dead zone of black color between change of every color. Now let's select the special action keys, the F and the G. And this time, I'm gonna have a reactive key mode. This is a fun little mode where there is a change in the key color whenever the key is pressed.
and this time I'll also change the speed to somewhere around 5 to 6 seconds. Since the light preview mode is on, just look down to your keyboard and see all the changes happening in real time. And now it's time to customize the reload key and the hidden weapon vault. Yes, all the hidden weapons from knife to a rocket launcher that we carry in a small backpack. Just select all the numeric keys and reel R for reload and select the cooldown timer mode this time for a really cool effect. So just like the previous mode, even cooldown timer mode changes the color of the key once the key is pressed. But it takes some time to revert back to the old color. You can tweak with the timer, trigger and start on key for this mode. Unlike me, just remember to view the effects of this mode on your keyboard. In live preview, you have to save the effects unless you won't be able to view them. On the lower left corner, you can also see a configs button. Just click on it to see the multiple configs that are already available on your MSI laptop. You can edit, delete, duplicate or add your own config to the existing list. There are multiple templates also available like Drain, Gold Splash, Flag of USA etc to play with. So that's all guys, thanks for watching and do share your experience with us on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Keep following us and till then, happy gaming.